Gary, two wins from two is an excellent start to the season. What qualities have stood out for you? Well, the, the pleasing thing is we backed up um, Saturday's uh, result with a, a home victory, and you know we want to make this place difficult to come to, and we reminded the players of that uh, going into the game on Tuesday evening. But um, you know they worked extremely hard um, first half, and you have to give credit to Torquay the way they performed as well. I, you know they they've improved from last year, um, and they gave us a right test second half and. Uh, the pleasing thing is, we rode our luck a little bit, um, but we had a decision on Saturday up at Halifax, similar to what Torquay had on Tuesday. So, um, you know, that, that returned its favour. But we rode our luck, but, um, you know, I think over the course of the game we deserved to win it as well, because we did play some good stuff during that first half period. You never underestimate the opposition. Did, did the, the spirit in Torquay, maybe their, their quality, was that more than you expected? No, because I think uh, they've recruited well and um, you know, I think I said that going into the game. Uh, I knew they would be a stronger opponent this, this time round. Um, and they're going to they're gonna cause a, a few teams some problems this year, uh, make no mistake about that. Two wins, but you're quick to point out it is only two games. You, you, in that you seem to be still looking for more. Yeah, we're always looking for more. Um, we're only two two wins into the, well, two games into the season. We've won two. Um, if there it was two games remaining, um, it will be slightly different. But we've only played two. Uh, for, fortunately for us, we've picked up two wins. Um, but there's a lot of lots of games, lots of football to be played before you know the end of the season. So um, you know you can flip it round the other way. It's a fine line this game. Um, if we would have drawn two or lost two. Um, it would have been slightly different, but it's good that we've won the two. Um, now we have to prepare, prepare, for, uh, prepare for another game um, on Saturday, so um, we're looking to win that one as well. You've not been entirely satisfied with the performances within those two wins. For example, I think both yourself and James have said the team needs to be more clinical, mm. even though they've scored five goals in two games. Yeah, but we, we create a lot of chances. Um, we've done that last year and we didn't take the chances. We've done similar this year. Our goal returns better, but if you look at the uh, chances and final third entries that we've we've been able to achieve, we should be doing better. Um, early on in, in the season as well, you've got to find some form, some rhythm as well. And it's been, you know, first first half at Halifax was, uh, as I said to you, you know, first game of the season. Let's see how things are. Second half, we stepped it up. I thought first half uh, Tuesday we've done well. Second half it was it was different. Um, so you need to get some rhythm into your game, and I think uh, as the games go, you know, hopefully we can get that. And that early season momentum can count for a lot as the season progresses. Well, confidence. You know, there's no better feeling than winning a football match and picking up three points. And uh, you know, you you gain confidence by that. And the more the more points and the more games that you win. You know, you feel a lot more confident, and um, that's all we're looking to do. But in saying all of that, them two games are finished now. Uh, we have to pre uh, prepare again for the game. I'll get that prepare out soon uh, <laughs> for Saturday's game. The new signings we've spoken about it in both games. The new signings have, have really fitted in well, made made a good impact. That's always good scouting, team selection, good management. But have you been particularly impressed with how they've done? It's always something of an unknown quantity, however well you prepare? Well, recruitment, vital, um, you know, and it's, that doesn't just happen during the summer by picking a, a phone up. You have to go to games, you have to have your contacts and your knowledge on, the, on them players as well. So I've been pleased with them, um, you know, but there is more to come from them um, and we expect more as well. In that summer recruitment, I think guys you have made 12 signings, they just announced their 12th, 12th signing this morning. Does that make them an, an unknown quantity? And where we've got the, con the consistency from last season, does that make them, perhaps it will take them a little bit of time to gel? Maybe, um, but similar to us last year, we, we had a, a, a big influx of players and uh, you know, we were able to, to start quite well last year. Um, for guys, they, yeah, they they may take a little period of time to you know uh, get together and gel, but um, all we're doing is focusing on Saturday. You know, we would have done our homework 
um, you know, and preparing the players for that game. I got that word out in the end uh, without any hiccups. So, uh, yeah, no, it will be a case of, you know, we've already looked at them. Um, we've already spoken to a couple of people who've, you know, already played against them. So, um, come three o'clock on Saturday, we'll be prepared for them. It's always important to focus on what we do rather than the opposition. Consistency was, was one of the key elements of last season. What, what is the key to ensuring consistency now? Are, are you seeing that the players that have been retained are making that progress? Yeah, they've got, they, they, they've got an understanding of obviously how we want the team to play. They have an understanding of you know, the players um, from last year, you know, how they play their strengths and weaknesses. And the players that have come in, you know, are good players as well, so they can fit into that. But um, also on top of that, we we rotated the players last year. We tried to keep the group fresh, um, and that'll be no different um, this season. And obviously, third game in a week, we have to look at that um, as well to make sure that we have that high energy in the team. So uh, we'll look at that going into this weekend's game. One player who. I know from his social media accounts he's been enjoying the start of the season, but unfortunately he's not been involved. Bernard Mensah, how's his fitness coming along? Apparently he's injured. Uh, <laughs> that's what I hear. I'm, I'm not uh, not quite sure about that, but uh, I think he's injured. Now he is definitely injured, and he will be back uh, when he's fully fit. He's part of this group. Um, he's a good lad. He's good in the dressing room, uh, but unfortunately for us, at this moment in time, he's injured. He's injured then? He's injured. Is anybody else injured? Um, Will Evans apparently is injured also and he's been out for a period of time. So um, we look forward to Will when he's fully fit coming back into the group, but he's also injured. But of the group that were involved on Tuesday, everybody's come through that game, you think? Yes, yeah, yeah, they, they've been fine. Um, you know, uh, Liam Bellamy uh, is trying to get himself fit and he's training also because he has been injured uh, as well. So, um, you know, we're, we're trying to, you know, get him up to full speed for himself. You know, it's a difficult period for him. But um, then players have been out injured. Thank you, Gary. We'll see you on Saturday. Thank you.